Fishwing fellow is uh, a newborn. Unfortunately, he's got a temp. And because he has a temp, we're going to do a septic workup on him. Uh, mom's agreed to let us uh, use him as part of our video demonstration. So the septic workup for anybody this age consists of three things. We need to get an IV access, blood cultures, urine for culture and urine analysis, and a spinal tap on it. So we're going to start with the spinal tap first. What Rachel's going to do is give him a little bit of tooth sweet. And what this is is a 25% sucrose solution. It's uh, basically within a couple minutes will make him a little bit sleepy. Now it doesn't make him completely sleepy, but it slows him down a little bit to make it a little bit easier for him to tolerate the procedures that we're going to do on him. If the baby's a little bit older and we're doing the septic work on, up on them, then what we generally tend to do is uh, give them some type of a sedative, either ketamine or something along those lines. Now, first thing we're going to do is just kind of take a look at the back of him and see if we can figure out where we're going to go. Here's his iliac crest. We're going to drop straight down from the iliac crest. Now, the most important thing, though, is uh, for the holder to be able to position him in a number of different ways. And when you're holding the baby, there's a couple of things you have to worry about. There's this plane, this plane, and this plane. And what you'll see is when uh, Rachel and Nicole hold him, they're going to kind of flex him this way. And the, the most important plane is this plane, because if you roll them over this way, when you put the needle in, you're going to miss where you're going to go. Okay? So I'm just going to take a feel right now, and here's his iliac crest, right about here. And right off of that, right down around here, is the spinous inner space that we're going to go in between. He's already not too happy with me. And I tend to mark the area with a little bit of a push with my fingernail there, and you can see. And then what we're going to do is numb them up, or clear them off here, and the most important thing in this respect is to get him some anesthesia. Because the last thing you want to do is stick a needle in this poor guy without numbing him up. Now, when we're ready to go, we're going to bring Grandma over here, and she can talk to him while we're doing the procedure, because he certainly knows her voice a whole lot better than mine. All right, buddy. We're just going to put a little bit of numbing medicine right over here. And you can see it raises a wheel, but then we'll just take a little bit of pressure. That'll squash that wheel down and spread the lidocaine out. And that'll make it much more comfortable Jonathan. for this poor guy. There we go. Here we go. Okay. There she is. You see her. Yeah. He's looking. Yep. Grandma's right there. And we do leave mom and grandma in the room. And that's kind of the best thing for the baby. Okay. Okay. I think we're good then. Yeah, we're good. That one. All right. Actually, I got Tom over here where I can hand the, the tubes to. And Okay, ready, Rachel? Okay, so Rachel's going to get him kind of like a bit of a pretzel there. Sorry, Munchkin. All right, that's okay. Let's pull him that way a little bit. Hi, Munchkin. Okay, now, Dr. Sawyer, All right, Munchkin. Hi, Papa, y'all. It's okay. Grandma's here. Papa. Okay. 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 All right. It's okay. You okay, puppy? There you go. Oh, he's doing very good. He's happy. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's chill now. He's more mad. I'm holding him like a football. Oh, I think he's mad because he can't Whoa. get to grandma. Oh, you have to burp. Be nasty, puppy. Be <laughs> nasty. <laughs> he's looking for you. Now you can see he's a, a little on the the slight side, so we didn't have to go in quite so far. Now the success of the procedure is 100% dependent upon the holder. It's got nothing to do. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the person with the needle. Everything else is, because all they do is just go straight. It's your ability to hold them still, and then you always put the stylet back in before you remove it. Take that out. Yeah, he did great. That flow looks nice and clear. I'm gonna just give you that and straighten them out a little bit. Thank you, Rachel. Mm -hmm.
And I'm going to pass these off. Nicole, I'll get them up to you. What we're going to do is do... Yeah, the puppy. This is nice and clear, guys. Hey. Which is good. good. Yep, that's good for him. Good job. Is that sugar kicking and you're no sleepy now? <laughs> Probably do the cell count in tube one and then everything else in the other two. I just put white labels and send them. Perfect. That way we don't ever screw it up. Okay. There she is. Put a little bit of band aid back there, and then let's get your IV in here, buddy. Puppy. Ready, Rach? Okay. Thank you. You did great. 